Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to get as close as possible to the end uh, of Legendary Iron Man in the grim hollow world of a modded Legendary Iron Man scenario. Double enemy, squad size, yellow alert, 100 mods, you have heard it many times before. Today we are going to go into Operation Star Steed, which is a very cool alien facility. Uh, with a powerful alien guarding it. So I'm hoping that we're getting a good Royal Rumble feeling as we're knocking out another alien ruler. This time hopefully the Berserker Queen or the uh, Archon. In order to do that, we of course brought Shadow with us. Uh, with uh, the Banish ability, I am hoping that we can deal a lot of damage. Euler, Dilly G, Sonar Grell, the core team Hogbite is on bonding duty, so we're substituting with uh, none other than the most inappropriate of Murphys, uh, who is helping us uh, with that. We got two of uh, the Mech 3 towers. Uh, these are quite good. One of the best items that I've seen so far, potentially overpowered for what they're doing. Allows you to bring a basic unit with you. And yeah, I'm not going to say no. Uh, you guys voted for all of the OP units, so might as well use that. Let's jump into it and uh, get a couple of kills, shall we? Time for us to land and take the aliens down. I think we're not taking the corpses with us, which is a shame by thinking about it. Last uh, episode I reflected about potentially taking the Advent Custodians with us, but that's likely not going to happen. And in good fashion, we got a trooper, bio rocket trooper. Got a nice bio rocket here, and we can mark a target. Hmm. Any admin that attacks the marked target have bonus aim. Not sure how this translates for us. High ground here. I think that goes without saying that we're going to pick that up. But before we're moving, just all too aggressive let's use our scout shadow and do a bit of the dirty work i am at your service a few biozerkers very good look we're still very much hidden concealed now, might as well Running. aggressively move up. Inappropriate Murphy. Stepping on. Krell on. takes a backline position. That Biotrooper definitely goes to the front line. And Sonar was born to be at the front line. I am. Noticing that I'm losing the fear in some of the missions, which might not be a good sign or a good one, depending on whether or not you root for the aliens or for Saiken. But I don't want to go as far as to say that this campaign is winnable. However, I will say I think we can uh, progress it further. I think we've seen many of the endgame units, and I'm not sure if it is getting much worse than it currently is. Uh, so we're actually going to uh, progress uh, the uh, Golden Path missions. And who knows? I don't know how Waterworld uh, is. Waterworld would be twice as hard, twice as many spawns. So there are good reasons to not even think about being able to do it. But equally, one can dream and one could uh, argue there is a chance a small one for us to successfully win that entire campaign which would be quite an achievement i'm not sure if this campaign is winnable though so don't get too excited yet not sure if we can really engage very well with Euler. Position 
keeping him on the high ground here for now. Bioserker moves over there. Sonar. Oh, look at you. Barely managed to pull that entire pack. Okay, cool. Sonar will cover over here. Inappropriate Murphy will cover there. Rel will cover here. Good separation. Nicely spread out. Only problem that I'm seeing is Euler. Oh, I know how I know the next round and how I want to play that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I knew exactly why I wouldn't want to stand right next to them. <sighs> yeah, they accidentally, air quotes, uh, moved just one spot further. I was standing really far away so that all of that wouldn't happen. <sighs> okay, my next turn was... Nice little kill zone. Unfortunately, that is no longer working. Now we're back to the basics of straight out massacre. Everything's pulled at once, XCOM. Well done, Saiken. All right. Cool. Nothing new in the world of XCOM. Nothing that we wouldn't have seen like 500 times before. This will trigger a couple of overwatches. Could have been a kill, lucky us, I guess, but I equally didn't want him to stand in the middle of that shredder. Euler does what Euler does best, which is clean house. Tell you what, we're going to use Dilly to soften him up. And Euler continues his Tyrant of Doom. Very nice. So, hmm, let me see. That's, that's not enough to really get them down.
Might as well just take the full cover away. Run gun. Yes, please. Moving to here. Oh, it's almost a wasted cooldown. Got implacable. Into advanced teamwork. It would explode, which sucks because it deals damage. I almost would love to take Reaper here. Good, might as well trigger the rest. And here we go again. So, needed to take a short break. Business called. We were in the middle of this aggravating standoff. I do know that I wanted to hand over actions to Cannon. And wanted him to go in. Now, before we do that though, let's get rid of uh, the Bio Vipers. Nice. Their explosion damage even hurts the other Vipers, although it, uh, they cannot acid burn. The actual explosion still hurts them. Very good. Okay, cool. Now, one of the big problems is this mech trooper here. And that bio viper. So we can only see that one Viper, can we? Yeah. Ah, uh, the Mech Trooper needs to go down. The Bio Viper isn't that bad. The Trooper is pretty bad. Has 15 defense built in. <laughs> Let's heal Sonar. Because we need him at full health. Let's shred the trooper. Good damage, I like it. Missed that shot, but still five points of damage. Or 24. Not perfect. Good. We're th throwing one of our tier 3 turrets up. Dang it. I need to kill the biomech. But I also need to kill that viper. Biomech is worse though. Okay, so next target is the biomech. Moving into safety. 
Ooh, there was another biomech. I have not thought about that. Let's make sure we're out of the rough. Good, that's the setup. That's the kill. Good. Moving up to that by Viper. Cannon hits it once. Oiler hits it twice and kills it. That took Untouchable from us. But I think overall a justified trade. I'm wondering, should I kill zone potentially better than just deploying another turret? Let's do kill zone for two shots. That's more damage output. Okay, we eliminated most of the threats, not all, but quite a few. Luckily, the MK3 uh, bots or turrets do have a lot of uh, hit points. Alright, Arashi. Hit him. He only has 10 hit points, that could be a kill. I think that's a kill. Rushi ignores armor. And no matter how slow you advance, Rushi will hit you. So unless these guys have lightning reflexes, which I'm pretty sure they don't, he should be dead. Alright, come on, every second now. Good, there we go, it just happened, I fast forwarded, it was about a minute more. He deflected it and then we got untouchable. So interesting, interesting chain of events. Good, I tell you what, um, we're giving an aid protocol over here, and then we're res restoring, because that'll be very action efficient. Yep. Four people with an AOE heal. You are welcome, guys. And do I want to hack? Not sure. I think next turn, maybe not this turn. I'm afraid that I might trigger that I might trigger the Archon. Do 
Dual Strike to make sure that he's not deflecting both. Well, he's not. That's good. Oh wow, we can't even move around. The bio troopers. I praise them for being well balanced and well implemented. You only say that uh, when there is not uh, shit and goo everywhere. Re reload. The G continues his onslaught. I still death from above. It's a bit of a waste from a shrapnel, but okay. We want to set these guys up and we're doing exactly that. Oh, can't even hit them. Okay, well. I think we will need our turret. There we go. Good job. Nice little hit. Now we can freely reload and let's hit that. Oh, nice. That was a critical hit. All right. Well, that's how it's done. Still continuing to hit that mech. The other alternative would have uh, been to deploy another turret, which I think would have also been okay, but having two overwatch shots here that could potentially get the mech down is more beneficial. Come on, Euler. Well, luckily we healed the turret with mass heal. Euler is ready. Euler hits it hard, very hard. Could top either of you guys up. I tell you what, let's go over here, create a fire line, because I do have the feeling we're going to run into the Archon soon ish. And in the meantime, Shadow can do what Shadow does best, which is scout for us and finish highly injured targets. There you go, not revealed. Rocket here moves up. Stellate turret moves up over here and reloads. And let's move a bit closer to that ledge. 
Finally, now is a good time to deploy that other turret. And when and if uh, that Archon, or whoever is here, the Berserker Queen, or uh, that robot is going to show up, then we're going to greet them. I personally hope for the robot because they are susceptible to our blue screen rounds. But before we deal with the robot, now let's go with the custodies. Advent Exalted Custodian Grandmaster J. Yep, that's unfortunate. I was hoping they would run more into us, but of course you're not getting that pleasure. No idea why there's a brute over here. Let's first of all freeze uh, the custodians for a round. And find out that they do really not care at all about it. There we go. Starting to hit that assassin. Nine to eleven. Okay, well, I can tell you. Cannon gets the teamwork. We're hitting serial, and we somehow need to deal one more damage. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Well, that's a kill. can't really reach over there. I could go over here and just be a good scout for now. It seems as if the custodians just really do not care. Custodian Grandmaster, Exalted Custodian. Yep. These are hardcore enemies. And in order to not die to them, how about Sonar? Moves up. And we'll get the finishing shot here. But we first need to soften this guy up. Rocket Trooper marks him and takes a shot. Unfortunately misses. Good, we're killing him. That will give us untouchable and implacable. Uh, 
Uh, in and around that corner would be good. Euler needs support, and that comes in the form of a Big Fed 8 protocol threat assessment. Overwatch. Overwatching. We are moving away mostly to not offer too much clustered up targets. And Dilly is really just softening them up. Good. We should have a lot of overwatches with Euler. Miss, come on, there's a second overwatch. Yep, second overwatch hit. Nine points of damage in return. Wow. 15 points. That's pretty massive. Running out of targets that they are allowed to kill. Uh, Euler, that was the one thing where I, would, where I was hoping that you would hit and kill him. But luckily, they are bad, as bad as uh, we are when it comes to hitting these things. Might be able to explode this here. Triple Bulwark stands. That's a nasty pack to deal with. Nope. Does not work. I tell you what, that is better than nothing. Shredding them for three each. My main question is, where is a somewhat safe spot to hide and cry about the amount of damage that's going to come in? Free reload. Gotta shred that advent. It's the Grandmaster with the most hit points of all of them. We do have extra turns, but not many. But don't know if I could uh, move up if that's a clever idea. It's only half cover. We could head over threat assessment. On the other hand, we can shred, and that's important. Still, 60 hit points are disgusting. And that's a lot of damage we have to deal with. I think Dilly is best served by simply kill zoning in the hopes of uh, putting out enough damage. And again, I tell you what, we're moving up, killing that drone. Um, 
moving back down and then at least we have untouchable hair trigger plus implacable that is very generous Eight protocol over here and we're healing I do have an idea how we're doing that but the custodians really require a lot of cooldowns but that was to be expected down to only, and I put that into air quotes, 36 hit points. Can heal here. There are a lot of our soldiers that are, that can be topped off. So for one action, restoring them all is fine. I am concerned about the just amount of damage that is coming in. This here is our living mimic beacon, so having that extra hit point buffer isn't all too bad. I deliberately leave him in half cover because that's easier for them to hit. And I'll heal him up so that he can take at least a shot. It's effectively trading charges of uh, the uh, healing uh, for more hit points that they can chew through. This variation of the Archon must surely be you must be kidding me, right? Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things are still... Oh, boy. This is the job we've been waiting for. Except That's the, the worst time. That was the worst timing ever. I got nothing. Fourteen critical. Wow. Incoming. Over here. Come on. Wonderful. The whole kill zone led to one me meager hit. Thankfully, Untouchable was there. Now that is a problem. Wow. Well, we got a problem here. The... Archon King essentially makes all of this territory very difficult whenever we're doing something he will react and at the same time these custodians are an issue so what we're going to do is we're taking the actions first on uh, which the Archon can not react to this exalted custodian has two armor but the pistol is not going to care about it Three solid hits, that's what I like to see. Keep them coming. There's the fourth one. Down to 33. Good, next up. Double shot. Dual strike originates from the person that does it. So although the uh, Euler being the second here, the dual strike should not trigger the Archon's reaction at all. Nice hit. Euler. Uh, you can definitely rely on this guy. Good. Now for the rest. The Archon needs to take a chill pill. This will buy us some 
Not a lot, but some time. So we got a free action out of this. Could move to here. I think I will do that. That's full cover. Archon is no longer in our range, which means we can start hammering this guy down or heal. Either way, I think we're going to hammer this guy. Wait, I do have another idea. The Archon can see from up here, but he cannot see this or this, which means run gun is the right play. Because I need implacable and need to be able to kill him. Hell yeah, that was a good hit. Good, implacable is ready. Fortunately, can't hit that grandmaster. The Shadow is reloading for next round. We gotta keep that Banish well and alive. Healing Cannon, which will likely trigger an action. Good, not a surprise that we're being picked up. Not a surprise at all. Cannon will rupture. That's a nice little hit. Good job. Okay, before we do anything... Um... Let's heal Grell. Just topping everybody up. Good. This is fully shredded and some more damage. Let's see what the guy is doing. Blazing pinions, maybe. Oh, that's not good. Shouldn't have healed. Uh, not that early. All right, moving over for next round. Cannon is at uh, risk. Alright, we take some damage, but that's fine. Come on. Very nice. Full cover. Go for sonar, not for cannon. Go for Sona, not for Cannon. <sighs> this game humbles me every single time. But we can deal with Cannon, that is not a problem, not yet. Alright, that's a no regret move. Might as well hit him. I need a nice little overwatch here. Threat assessment goes over to inappropriate Murphy.
hitting that Archon. The Archon should trigger Threat Assessment. Did he or did he not trigger Threat Assessment? I'm not sure. But we're moving over with Sonar. That should slam him to the ground. Doesn't deal too much damage. Stunned him for two rounds. Okay. Nice little hit would be helpful. Oh yeah. Good, we have a full banish clip ready. And this should be a kill. One. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Six. And... Seven. There we go. All right, down to 25 hit points. Um, what, who or what can we heal? Murphy. Look, I mean, I could overwatch. Theoretically, that could hit a couple of shots. This here is going to be a problem. 21 hit points. Does he have any more? No. I think we're overwatching because that could be more than one shot. Come on, Guardian. Little dodge. Okay, well, we're definitely getting our fair share of damage here. All right, twelve points of damage. Sets the guy up. Now it's time for Reaper. Implacable. Behind that stone. We do have shredding on our weapon. Of course, only if we hit, not when we miss. Revival protocol over here.
That's another heal. We are healthy enough to take one hit if uh, they move into our direction. But I tell you what, since I think they will move in our direction, might as well aid protocol ourselves. Next turn, we can stabilize. This is a potential other target just offering so that we're not having just one target. I think the pistol might actually deal more damage because it ignores armor. Plus three. No, the sniper rifle deals more damage. And theoretically does have a hair trigger. Custodians telling you those guys are rough, untouchable. That was close. Guardian, Guardian, trigger. Good, we're stabilizing. Can't afford to lose Euler, he's super valuable. Shadow moves up. And triggers an entire new pack, holy shit. Okay, we're going to run away from them, but in the meantime, we need to deal with that custodian. Revival protocol. Custodian needs to die. Can't leave him be. Of course. Euler. One hit point. Free reload. further to the back oh I didn't know they could do that but luckily we got lightning reflexes of course it was all planned Some damage. Uh, we don't have any free reloads left over. Wow. This mission humbled me. I thought my prime team would be 
untouchable, but if you put an Archon King and three of these nasty custodians together, you very much can still cause havoc. Higher level units don't have uh, such an easy time of being insta-killed, so they typically bleed out, which is completely normal, so I'm not expecting anyone to go automatically down with the first hit, but nonetheless, once that happened, uh, I would not count on it a second or third time. You know, we could really use some more group heals. It feels as if we're a bit short on them. Good, let's get that Viper prepped. Down to 12 hit points. Ah, it's unfortunately not really what I was expecting. But, luckily for us, We still got Sonar, and Sonar is a force to be reckoned with. Kills, waits for the explosion to happen. Boom, there it is. Implacable will help us to deal damage. It is clear. Cannon moves up. Kill zone. Overwatch with inappropriate Murphy. Sona gets an extra Overwatch via 8 protocol. Overwatch. And right here, I think we're doing another one of these. But moving close enough to the ledge so that if they pass by, even if they go for shadow, they will trigger overwatches. Okay. Did not expect that to happen. Easy, that's the first kill. Euler, Euler. Still blade storm. Taking care of. You want some more? Well, 
This mission is something else. It's one of the more difficult ones. Definitely a slaughter fest. Somehow we can't really see these guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. Moves over to here, blocks the ladder, and preps the Viper. I still hit. Fortunately, not a crit. Down to 9 hit points uh, though, which should be enough to kill it, right? Yep. Good. Serial just in case, so that we can continue to overwatch. I would love to have some high ground and still uh, see these guys. Yeah, I think we're still going in, even if that means we are going to take some acid damage. But we're moving into a position where the sniper could see us. Aid protocol to make it easier for sonar to survive that. Grell move moves up. Overwatches. BDG overwatches and Let's just kill one of those. No need to just overwatch. We could have a hair trigger here. No, we don't. Okay. You want some more? Good, very good. Good. Thankfully, Bladesome was on point. Took some damage here. Acid burn sucks, but it is what it is. We can't really help that. I would be expecting that things are now cooling down. So. Let's move over to here, everybody. I hope it's worth it. Heading out. Rolling out. That was a close mission. A good one, but a really, really close mission. And it shows that despite all of our precautions, we can still die within this run. Wouldn't say easily, but relatively speaking, easy. I mean, of course, you can always evac, but assuming that you want to successfully beat the mission and are making a stand like we did it, because I wanted to kill that stupid Archon. 
then yeah, it's very much possible to die. Used all of our healing. And just barely got it done. Planting the C4. And see you later, guys. All right, everybody, just take a good walk out of here. I'm going. I'm going. Here I come. Getting out of here. Ooh, we could have used Hogbite in this mission, specifically against these stupid exalted custodians. He would have dealt with them very well. I think we are not even going to get the corpses, right? Wow, what a mission. Good, the E Prime team, the A team has done it again. And everybody is shaken, gravely wounded. Holy shit. The only one who got nicely out of this is Dilly G. Uh, simply walking it off. Like, it is nothing. Good. Uh, the Icarus suit will be our next big research goal and of course we want to build it perfect maximilian richter gets fear of max even worse so we're continuing to build that tower down here And thankfully we got the sector port breakdown, which finally allows us to make three upgrades. Or Gremlin three upgrades. There we go. Mark three. Vector rifles and the free Spectre autopsy. I think the refraction field isn't too bad. Um, it now is not a one-shot item. Uh, you can, with the Spectre rework, you can reuse uh, them. So it basically gives your soldiers sustenance, and we have seen how important that is. Do we want another upgrade slot on that uh, rifle? Hmm. Good question, what would we take? I mean, we have Scope and Extended Magazine. We could take Hair Trigger mild upgrade now nah, i think we're skipping this one uh, typically i would but i don't think that it would add so much power i think we rather go for the archon king We rather go for the Archon King. And the other thing that I notice is we potentially need a bit more defense on Euler. That was too close for comfort. Well, finally we are in the Stone Age. That means our energy is greatly reduced. Good, Thunder Mountain will be a uh, continuous project, and then we do have this other hidden event. Um, typically I'm not revealing them, but this time... I know that Fire Crito was really bad. I think... I think it was really bad. Let me double check. 
Oh yeah, it was the penalty for all future research which will be penalized, so we can't let that happen unless we want uh, the campaign to drag out even further. Good that we found that well in advance. How bad is it on the Avenger? We got 41 power. Upgrade. Power relay upgraded. And with our engineer, we're back to 48 power. There we go. Side event countered. Well, I'm still a bit baffled about that last mission. Didn't play it super well, could have played it better. All right, Shattered Realm has finished their training. And with that, here we go. Timbet, welcome to the team. All the way from Canada. Very good. Let's give you some uh, some skills. Good enough. And in terms of low level group, uh, we got two snipers, two specialists, three rangers, two grenadiers. I think we're going for another Grenadier now. And we were, we're going to see if Bastardo can... No, he can't, cannot upgrade. Well, that is going to suck, my dude. Because you are now the only low-level character squaddy that we do have. Which means you're potentially not going to see a lot of action. Uh, maybe covert ops. Who knows? But yeah, he would be the fallback of the fallback solution. And instead, we're taking Martin Axenrod and making him a Grenadier. Thanks to live fire training, we get a steady supply of uh, new sergeants. Just the right rank to start with. Everything below with that mod pack would likely not work at all. We now found the Icarus Armor. Uh, can we go for Power Armor? No, we cannot because we're missing Alloys and Crystals. That sucks. I will do the Gatekeeper because I already know that that is going to be a fantastic option for us having psionic uh, uh, psionic transmitters level three in terms of engineering i think we're still missing alloys and delirium we have a lot of supplies but that's pretty much it Wait, 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 wait. I think we can uh, sustenance sphere. Let's just double check if we can do that. Refraction field. Two spectre corpses, 100 supplies. I think that's fair. Let's test two for the beginning. Uh, it's now a reusable item, so they have adjusted the price as well. And Icarus armor. Costs a lot of everything, so we gotta wait with that. But the Archon King is out. Snake, uh, the Snake King has retreated as well. We also killed one of the other Snake uh, mm, followers, Priestress Sisters. And we got three more rulers at least to go. So things are looking up.
Fitzgerald continues his training. He gets a couple of important skills. And these guys finally have a bond, which allows us to see what else is out there. So we have the bandit base. I like I like to do that, getting them out, uh, rumbling them out. We have the option for the marauders base, so that's great as well. Swords plus one, that is nice. And dodge plus nine, I think we're going to take that first. The, uh, the breakthrough is too good to not do it. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta stop everything else. This is it. This is absolutely it. Implacable and Ataxia, that reduces days to 6. Just double checking. And the main team is still too, uh, too far out of business. This will give us plus 1 on all beam weapons, that's such an important upgrade. And on afterwards, we're going for the sword upgrade, both of which could have been incredibly helpful. So, not even a close call. That's by far the best breakthrough that we could have hoped for. Now, the one thing that I will say is we need to continue training on the Psy. But before we do that, Soldier Bonds. Shooter and Hogbite are confirming their bond, which is good. And let's stop, just double check uh, Hogbite in terms of dodge uh, 84. That's good. Mm. I will need to get a bit more dodge on him, although uh, every, every point of focus already gives him... Uh, gives him additional dodge. Let's just double check. I think every... Uh, da, 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 da. Increasing stats damage and effectiveness. Yeah, I think the stats also... What that means is dodge. Focus level 1. Plus 10 dodge. Okay, that is the set that I wanted. Which means he is currently at 94 because he always has one focus left over. We need 6 more dodge on him and then we are capped. Good to know. And... Yeah, we can continue. So far, so good. Finishing that radio relay. Oh, it's not bad. Uh, do we have more resistance comms? No, we don't. And we don't have more room to build either. So I either need to use a resistance order or we're scanning uh, we get a scan for additional contacts because this here is not yet allowing us to do that volunteer army would be good and pursue of knowledge would be fantastic 20 percent more research is good question is should we go for more intel I think we're fine for now. Game will give us into. See? Right there. Neutralize target. Dark VIP, which we could also extract. 
bandits, dark elders, and a lot of enemies in our home turf. So that's going to be, that's even an unknown enemy here. It's going to be a really interesting mission. And given that our prime team is currently out of action, I'm just trying to see which point um, in the timeline I'm taking for the prime team to get back together. So we have 15 days with uh, Euler for being gravely wounded. Which means towards the end of the month, um, when everything is said and done, he would come back. And we could then run the primary team or the main team in another another one of these uh, facility missions. Again, together with Shadow, because I want the ability to kill that, um, that alien ruler right away. And if we have Hogbite with us, then Amplify plus Rupture should do the trick. Okay, what else? Um, so Prime Team is out of commission, right? Fair enough. Uh, second Team seems tired as well. Which really means... Uh, the newbies are getting a good shot. I like it. I like it. Some of the uh, young blood can show their worth. And do the next mission. Fantastic. If you like this mission, and if you uh, find that the Advent Custodian Exalted Uber Grandmasters seem a bit over tuned uh, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye